Welcome back everybody to the Flying Terror channel. Uh, today we're checking out Rush Hour Carding in Morrisville, North Carolina. Uh, this event was hosted by Carnivore YouTube channel, link in the description. Uh, this is a brand new facility, all electric carts. They have another facility in Garner that's gas, that's pretty fun. Um, first time being here, so what you're seeing now is the, just everybody getting on the track. Uh, they're limiting the speed of the carts remotely. I think they actually just gave it full power and the race is starting. So this was a 10 minute race. I believe the winners were scored by the fastest average time. So it wasn't necessarily a positions thing. It was just fastest average time around the track. Um, yeah, the carts were pretty quick. They didn't seem as quick as the gas counterparts. But they weren't slow. They seemed to have a lot more grip. So in this first race, I'm just kind of trying to learn the track. Um, 10 total people. I started in front of... Um, I started behind the 57 car, Romain Grosjean, and uh, that was my main target. Fun little downhill section here. Took a while to figure out the fastest route through here. Probably noticed I hit the wall quite a few times in this race. Uh, I was trying to get as close as possible without hitting it, but you know, sometimes you get a little bit too close. beginning they spread everybody out so you don't really see a lot of action unless the pack gets bunched up which it does here with the blue flag for the number 52 cart uh, which is C Christian so finally I get a little bit of racing action in here get to try and overtake somebody so here we go there's C Christian on the right finally get past him now I'm behind a roommate Grosjean in the 57 cart my arch nemesis done although he has a faster line through this section and he keeps bumping me right before uh, this hill coming up so I got to enjoy that for a couple laps definitely had fun sliding through that section quite a few times I think I had a faster car because I was pulling away from Romy Grosjean on the straights here. And here he is closing up. Looks like he had a tighter line through there. That's really the section where you uh, lose or make time on this track. They are yelling at us for hitting the wall, which I did hit it pretty hard to be fair. So sorry about that, Rush R. The hill really kills the momentum in this car. Um, the less you weigh, the better off you are. And there, Romain Grosjean is poking his nose in, trying to pass. Some expletives were said.
All right, so there's caution on course. Carts are remotely slowed down. Looks like this was uh, full send. Looks like he was living up to his name and fully sent that and ended up spinning. He was in the 59 cart. So now it looks like the race is restarted. This led, uh, somehow Romain really caught up to me during that caution. Now I'm behind the 62 car, which is T Christian. And losing a little bit of time trying to get past him. But here we go. Looks like I'll take the inside right here. Terrible line I had actually, and I hit the inside of that wall and got hit by, I think, T Christian. So that's my bad. And we're passing 52 car C Christian. And this puts me behind the race of the leader, Brit Bird. She was fast all day. Couldn't catch up to her here. She just ends up just walking out. Put some distance on me. See, that was pretty good at that turn. Shouldn't have hit the wall, but then the race was over, so it didn't really matter. So the race results were Britbird in front of me, number one. Number two, Freeman Twin, which I didn't even see all day, or all race in the 65 car. And me, Max Verstappen in the 74 car, followed by Full Send and Romain Grosjean. And then we have Pepper Breath, T. Christian, Skixon, and OMW and C. Christian. All right. So we did one more race. A few different people showed up this time. Um, definitely was more consistent this time after we were there in the track. Best lap time last race was 37.075, and this race, my best lap, ended up being a 35.996, so definitely got some improvements out of just learning the course and what the cars can do. Uh, yeah, there, you can almost floor it the entire time. Down here, there's a little lift, carry a lot of speed. For me, I like to do a little lift, make this as straight as possible through here. Uh, try not to break traction, because that slows you down. And keep it tight through here. Um, the fastest lap of the of this race ends up being 34.917. The fastest lap of the last race... was uh, Britbird 35914 and this race it's Bean 7 34 917 so two really fast laps all right the race has started and immediately there is a caution didn't get a good look at who spun but it seemed to happen a lot on that, that downhill Because they spaced this out, this race was kind of boring for a lot of it, so... Except for me hitting the barriers every once in a while. And getting yelled at by the officials. I kind of full sent it through there. Wanted to test out the traction and it held pretty well. This race, I was really just seeing how fast I could take that, that downhill turn.
to that was pretty good through there i could have been a little bit tighter but i didn't really break traction too much so i think that was a pretty fast lap Alright, I think that was probably the best I ever did that section right there. If I can try and do that every time, I think it would be pretty quick. That might have been my fastest lap. Kind of hard to keep track. So now it looks like I am finally can see the person in front of me on the track. I believe that's Bryson 0000 in car 69. And now I can see the car behind me, which is the race leader being seven in the 67 car. She was super quick and closing in the whole time. And it didn't help that I had a little bit slower traffic in front of me because it was basically impossible to pass during that middle section that I just went through in the chicane. And really the best place to pass was either going up the hill on the upper level or going down the hill. But he wasn't making it very easy for me. Lost a lot of time there, luckily. Thought I could get past, couldn't. Impossible to pass through here. Losing a lot of time to being seven behind me. In a little bit of time there and get this tight through here and luckily that was it then I believe she bumped me a little bit gave me a little bit of boost so thank you for that and then just tried to block her coming down here she probably would have overtaken me there had that car not spun out not sure who spun out but um I kind of closed the door for her there 
that card being there. So, final results for this race. Number one, Cart 67 being seven, and number two, Brit Bird in the 63 cart. Two ladies took the top two steps, then we got um, Romain Grosjean on the third step of the podium. I was fourth, followed by Carmen, triple zero, then six, Freeman Twin, seven, Bryson, trip, uh, quadruple zero. Number eight, Full Send, number nine, Skixon, and ten, OMW. And I'm not going to try and read that because I'm not sure what that is. But overall, a good time. Thanks for checking out the channel. Hope you enjoyed it.